It's not about how you start in life. You have the power to choose how you finish. Were key words spoken at one of the panels where social help groups came together, sharing awareness and information to the masses at the Human Trafficking Summit, hosted by COC's Student Health and Wellness Center at the Diane G. Van Hoog University Center in the Valencia campus. There is where we meet two speakers of the event, the Power Project, a group that seeks to reduce juvenile delinquency and victimization by helping young people build on the strengths that they already have and equipping them with the tools to set goals and transition into adulthood in a positive way. The founder, Miko Taylor, tells us about why she chose this path in her life. I actually grew up as a foster child in the Illinois uh, system, so I'm familiar with DCFS. And when I transitioned here to Los Angeles, I um, was able to give back working at a group home with kids that were in foster care and on probation. And uh, I realized that some of the youth were being targeted by traffickers. And uh, I felt like I'm sitting, I was sitting in some of those same seats that the kids were sitting in, and I could certainly could have been a target. And so I just got really passionate about prevention and wanting to get on the front end of human trafficking and trying to help keep youth from being victimized in that way to begin with and so that's why I got really passionate about prevention um, I started the power project with that in mind and uh, we've been just going out and serving in Illinois we've been serving here in Los Angeles County which is so exciting to me to be able to give back to some of the kids um, and 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 be able to identify with them and things like that along with Mako came her community education manager Sandy Esparza where she shares why this cause means so much to her. For youth, uh, just really giving them the tools and the resources they need to be able to protect themselves against trafficking and exploitation and potential predators. Um, I'm also uh, coming from a lived experience position, so I myself was trafficked here in LA when I was 14 up until I was 21. Um, so this work is super important to me. It just allows me to give back. It allows me to be who I needed when I was a teenager. Um, in addition to the training in prevention and awareness, I'm also a survivor advocate. So I am boots on the ground working with kids that are being trafficked and exploited here in L.A. So I get to really walk with them and um, help them in their journey of leaving the life and just uh, finding restoration and getting back into a normal life. Uh, so that's a lot of the work that I do. I'm Michelle Underwood for Canyons News.